Okay, what we got here is we're going to do some another set of problems dealing with harmonic motion. And what we're looking to do here is to find a model. Now, if you don't know what a model is, a model um, is not something that you find in a, a catalog or whatnot, a, a person um, that puts online to find codes, but no, it's really an equation. Yes, it's an equation. So we're looking for an equation for a harmonic motion um, given the following conditions, okay? And so what equation are we going to use? Well, harmonic motion is used when we have trig equations, okay, trig equations. And what we have right here is there are two different types of harmonic motion, basic, simple harmonic motion equations or models that we will use, and that's one with cosine and one with sine. Cosine and sine, and they can be used interchangeably um, depending on the constraints or the conditions that we have. So first off, we have to think about what does it mean when we have, or which one we'll use when? Well, that's where we look at the displacement. And when t equaling 0, okay, when t equaling 0. And so what we have right here is t, if you recall, when cosine, when t equals 0 for cosine, we know that cosine begins, all right, uh, with a, let me make this a little smaller, all right, um, right here, the top, and then goes down. So it begins here at 0, with a max and then it goes right here and goes up and down in this manner so right here we have a max value so we'll have not equaling zero now on the other hand when we talk about sine all right the sine function here sine at zero actually begins at zero all right and then that pi over two and then traditionally with sine it will go up to all right the max and then it goes down to a min and then it goes like this so Cosine and sine start at different positions, all right? And so when we look at this, when it says when the displacement, now displacement means where it is at the original point, is that it says that we have a displacement. When t equals 0, we have 0. So we have a point here of 0, 0. So we're first going to, the first step is we're going to determine which type of equation we're going to use. All right, so step one, all right, find the equation, all right, Find the equation or model we're going to use. Step one, I right, determine equation. Okay. Now, um, because we're starting at zero, zero, all right, zero, zero, it appears we're going to be using sine. All right, sine would be the appropriate one for this one. So we're going to have d equals a sine of wt. And the reason why is because we're beginning at zero, zero. Because when t equals zero, we have zero. Now let's fill in the other constraints. Um, we have an amplitude of 3 meters. So that means our amplitude, it goes up to a height of 3. Now, if you know these basic equations, all right, A means amplitude, all right? This is the maximum distance from the line of oscillation. So we can place that in there, all right? Um, a is 3, all right, sine of W, T, all right. Next thing is now we're looking at the period. Now we have a different period, okay? Now period is different than frequency, all right, and how you find period is it's going to be 2 pi divided by w, all right, 2 pi divided by w. And so, all right, because w is like our b value in a more traditional um, form of when we have uh, a trigonometric function, all right, this is going to be our horizontal stretch or shrink. And so what we have right here is if we're given a period of 6, well, what is our w value going to be? Well, we'll solve this, all right, by multiplying both sides by w, then we'll divide by 6. So we'll get w by itself. So we have 2 pi divided by 6, which is pi over 3. And so what we have for our final solution is sine of pi over 3 t. And that is our model of simple harmonic motion with these given constraints and conditions. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, how about let's try another one right here. Um, we'll say our displacement is 2. We have an amplitude of 2, and we have a period of 10. If you want to try this out, we'll go through the answer in just a bit. Okay, so you, if you didn't pause the video, you can pause the video and do this. All right, and when you're ready, unpause it. And so we're going to begin now. All right, so let's say we want this one. Well, first off, like step number one, we got to determine our equation. All right, so what is our equation? Well, since we have 0 and 2, that appears we're going to be starting at a max. And so guess what? We're going to use a cosine equation, cosine equation. So we're going to have d equals 
a cosine of wt. All right, cool. Well, next thing is we have our amplitude. This is our amplitude. And so what do we have here? Well, amplitude is our a value, absolute value of a. And in this case, just going to be our a value. So we have d equals 2, replace that for a, cosine of wt. All right, cool. Let's keep on moving on. This is our period. This is our period. And so with our period, we know that um, 10 will equal 2 pi over w, which we know is our b value. All right, when we normally do it. We solve this, we should have w equaling 2 pi over 10. 2 pi over 10. So by that, that, we have pi over 5. Pi over 5. And so what we have here is we should have an equation of 2 cosine of pi over 5 t. And that, my friends, is our final model, our final equation for simple harmonic motion with these given constraints. All right. So... Not too hard. The first step is whenever you want to find a model equation using simple harmonic motion, key thing is determine the equation. We either have a cosine or a sine equation. If we have 0, 0, the equation is sine. If we have a and a, some sort of number, all right, generally it would be the amplitude right there, all right, um, then that's going to be 0, a, all right. That's going to be a cosine graph. Cosine graph. We find our amplitude, which is our a value, and our period by using um, period equals 2 pi over w. All right. I hope this helps you out with all your problems, and good luck and good bless in the rest of them.